The facility itself is about 386,000 square foot. Uh, as you can see, it's an open warehouse, which used to be a doorway elevator plant prior to us uh, taking over. The flow is opened up so we can actually move material to the line in a more you know, systematic, more just-in-time kind of process. So it really is well laid out right now to support what we need with my car. So it gets picked up and it's uh, taken through the different chassis stations where we do uh, the battery boxes installed. The front suspension, rear suspension, trailing arms, upper control arms, all the chassis components get installed from the bottom. So we build up the door frame, the whole door sub-assembly is built offline. So we have the regulators, your cross beams, and then you bring the inner and the outer together, you bond them together to sandwich and become the whole the door assembly. So that's what you see over there. Like I said, plastic is got paint impregnated in it so we can get any color we want. The car by itself has pretty much everything a normal car would have but uh, the process is different and uh, for instance we don't have a paint shop. We don't need a paint shop because we use uh, uh, pigmented panels so our, pa our panels already have the color in them. Uh, we don't have a welding shop you know, because we're trying to stay green that's why we're using this new process. We use what's called as toggle locking and uh, then we do the pop rivet and bonding. So that helps, you know, minimize our footprint, the carbon footprint we're using uh, welding equipment. I have an awesome workforce, you know, and uh, the beauty is that they are so uh, energetic, you know, they, they have not, many of them have never worked in an automotive, and actually many have not worked in, in manufacturing. So for them, this is their first brush at it, and what better to be part of a brand new OEM